Hello everyone, welcome to the Super Secret Let's Play. Now, none of you know what this game is, or at least none of you should know, because I haven't told anyone about it, but still. Uh, I know there are like, what, two or three Let's Plays of this game on the internet, and by internet I mean YouTube, but still, I wanted to make my own, because this is a good game and I kind of like it. So, without further ado, let's play... Clock Tower. Okay. Now, Clock Tower is an old game. It's from the Super Nintendo era, which is 1995. It's when this game came out. It was only out in Japan. It's a survival horror game, and you know how I deal with survival horrors. If you don't, then you should watch my uh, my Silent Hill video, which I rec don't recommend you do, because it's really stupid. But anyway, this game is not as creepy as other survival horror games, but it's still pretty creepy for uh, an SNES game. I mean, it's pretty unnerving sometimes, and some of the sound effects are really, I don't know, chilling? I don't Like, they chill your bones, or whatever the term is for when you're scared. So here's a title screen. It's really slow, so you can just press start, and there you go, clock tower. You can see the Japanese title under there. Under there, there we go. So, we have a bunch of options. We have stereo, or... Monaural. We're gonna go for a stereo ending list. You can get like nine different endings in this game. Quick start, which is just skip the story, or game start, which is the normal story. There's continue too. Uh, that's for when you um, when you when you're playing a game and you die. You can continue from the last point when you died. So let's go with game start because I want to show the story off. I'm gonna be quiet in this cutscene, even though it has no voices. So try to imagine some voices for the people. Okay, I'll be. I mean, let's go. What a huge place. Okay, the cutscene's over. I can voice over now. Yeah. The main hall's gigantic. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Is it me or does her portrait not match her sprite? Like, her sprite's like fat and she has kind of long hair. And her portrait is skinny and she has like a bulge hair or something. It's weird. Doesn't really match up. But we get control of our main character. This is a point and click game, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, these are your friends. This is Anne. This is Laura. And this is Lottie down here. Uh, let's talk to Anne. See what she says. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy... Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Uh, riveting dialogue. Here's Laura. Let's see what she says. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. That's really... Uh, that's a... Un that's an understatement. Like, a really... Really, 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 really understatement, if that makes sense. I don't know. And I always wonder what this was right here, like, above the door. So it's, it's, I don't know if it's, like, part of the wall or something, but it's weird. That, that thing right there, that gray thing, anyway. Heh, <laughs> Lottie's paranoid. 
dot 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 dot. She looks like a man, but she's not a man. She's a she's a woman. So anyway, now that we've d done talking to, I mean, now that we've done, now that we're done talking to the girls, there we go. Um, we can just stand there, boring, bored, or just go talk to Anne again. She would see see what she says. God, I'm, my tongue's like really tight tonight. Tonight. Hey, can you go find Miss Mary? I got you impatient. She left like five minutes ago. What do you say, Laura? Should I look? Should I go look for her? What happened to Miss Mary? Shut up, Laura. Okay, Lottie. Do you have some common sense? These girls are impatient. She left five minutes ago or less. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I? Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Creepy music, that means something creepy is gonna happen, right? Anyway, to move your cursor, use the D-pad, of course. To select things, like click on them, you press Y. To, um... To open your inventory, you press A. To, um... Okay, actually, that made me jump a little. Oh, God. This is gonna be a hell of a let's play. Anyway, to open your inventory, you press A. You press B. B is going to be your panic button. I'm going to explain that when it comes into play. X is going to be your stop whatever Jennifer is doing at the time. And with R and with R, yeah, with R and L, you can run left or right, which makes this game easy. I mean, faster because Jennifer is a really slow walker. I mean, she. I'm going to compare the speeds. Okay, look at this. Okay, so we have her walk here. That's her walking speed. That takes like a thousand years to get there. But if we use running speed, she gets there in like a nanosecond, so that's good to have the running speed instead of just the walking. But anyway, now this game has a, a bunch of different en different endings, and you can save one of your friends only, and that's either Anne or Laura. Now, I don't want to... Oh, God, creepy music. I don't want to choose, so I'm going to make you guys choose whenever I f upload a poll, and um, whoever wins is going to be the one I save. But basically, to make this easier for me, I'm just going to record two uh, two playthroughs of this game. One's going to be me saving Laura, and one's going to be me saving Anne, and whatever you choose is going to get uploaded. So, this time, I'm going to save Laura. I mean, if you guys voted for it. So, I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Like, I want to set a poll up, but I don't want to let you guys know that I'm Let's Playing this. And look, it's a... It's a... Uh, what's this called? Ah! Whatever, but oh my god, it's a giant pair of scissors, and it's Anne! Oh no, we killed Anne! Oh boy, and this is your main antagonist. He's gonna be your stock for the rest of the game. His name is Bobby. He's a little kid with several problems. He has a deformed face. He has scissors for hands or something like that. The point is he's creepy, and he is gonna be stalking you and looking for you and trying to kill you every, every way he can. So to avoid him, you need to do certain things like hiding things in places and stuff. So to do that, you need to visit, to visit certain rooms. And I get lost in this mansion a lot, so I have my hand little map that I print from the internet. So let's see, first floor. Where can we hide on the first floor? We can hide in... We can hide in... Uh, Okay, no, that's second floor, okay. We can hide... Uh, what? Oh, did I click? Uh, no, never mind. We can hide... in... in the... Uh, no, okay, what? Where am I going? I'm supposed to go this way. Uh, or not. Uh, uh, am I lost? I don't want to be lost. What? Where is he? Ooh, go downstairs, Jennifer. I thought he couldn't climb stairs. Gosh, he never does. He just popped up. You see, this game's like... Ugh, I don't like it. Okay, he's upstairs. I don't even know if I can... Is he coming down? I can't see him. I just hear the... <laughs> That's not a good thing to hear. Oh, boy. So, where can I hide? Okay, let's see. First floor... I'm gonna pause this. Let's see. First floor. Here's a foyer too. We can hide here. Okay. I forgot to visit this room first before I actually did anything with the with Anne. So I don't think we can hide there, though, because Bill is already chasing us. But 
So we're gonna take a, a quick, um, a quick risk. So there's a hiding spot in the bathroom. So you go in here, and then Jennifer goes in there and she locks the door. But sometimes Billy can get through the door. Sometimes he won't. I don't know what times it's gonna be. I hope he doesn't though. Okay, he left. Okay, that's good. That's really good. We lost him. So, once you've evaded him, he won't appear again until you... Until you... Well, until you... Until you... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Until you see him again. There we go. That's easy. So, we got lucky there, because sometimes he can just break through the door and he can kill you. But, right now, we're going to go to the master bedroom. I mean, living room.